So finally, we're breaking out the Suron for the first ride video. Um, I've actually had this thing for the past like two weeks. I haven't filmed anything with it. I've just kind of been getting used to the bike and getting a feel for it. If you missed the unboxing kind of overview on this thing, check out my last video if you don't know what this is. This thing loaded up in the truck, head to this little uh, trails pump track type uh, place by my house and uh, we'll do a little off-road stuff with this thing. I've seen quite a few videos with these things but none like with people that um, have ridden like dirt bikes and stuff before just guys that have ridden like just mountain bikes or ridden absolutely nothing and have bought one of these. Personally I think it's a little bit different. Give a different opinion and perspective on it than uh, just a normal guy that hasn't really ridden anything in the past. So I just pulled up to the bike park here. We'll get this thing unloaded. Hit the little pump track up here. They got some other jumps and trails. So if you guys are new and you want to see more Suron videos, make sure you subscribe. Throw a like on this video if you want to see more e-bike content with the Suron, with the Alta, maybe with some other e-bikes on the channel. If you have any ideas on different videos you want to see with the Suron or parts I should put on the Suron if you have one, let me know in the comments. So let's get this thing out of the truck and get riding on it. go up to the top up here hit these bigger jumps not just this little pump track looking at this thing I might have to slow down the rebound on it it's super fast it's like really springy just out of the box I haven't touched anything about the forks I just sifted them up a little bit but based on first little test run on this thing that handles pretty good suspension's good no complaints so far honestly I was roll through this little bigger section Ventured off now, we'll hit some of these trails, try and find some of the uh, big like downhills and stuff. I'm not really sure where to go, but we're just gonna go uphill and then we only gotta come back downhill. So, here it is, here's the section I was looking for. do this more often that's like this is everything i wanted to do with a mountain bike but better because i don't have to pedal the whole time all right and that's a wrap for the day got this thing loaded up we'll head back to the house then i'll give you guys a little run over first ride opinion on this thing it is hot today they got heat stroke it's like 90 out today i've been out there for like two hours riding Whew. all right a little overview on this thing before the final review in a few weeks uh, after i ride this thing a little bit more and get used to it before we go take the side by side out here in a minute things i like some things i don't like first off um i thought i would be able to get used to it whenever you pull the brake it cuts the power which kind of made it weird especially i like to 
almost drag the brake, not the whole time, but as you're like going downhills and you want to get on it and hit the brake at the same time, it cuts the power and you kind of like, it jerks me forward and it obviously cuts power so I'm not going anywhere and it just kind of made it feel weird. So I know there's a way to take that off. Um, if you know how, leave it in the comments. So that's one negative, I think, out of the box. These pegs are super thin. I gotta get some wider foot pegs. My feet were almost like bending around the peg, like arching the whole time. The suspension's decent. It's a little bit soft. Um, we'll see once it gets fully broken in. I wish it could be a little bit stiffer in the front. The rear's not too bad. But um, I've heard of some people saying the suspension blows out pretty quick. And uh, I might have to upgrade that here soon, depending on how hard I ride this thing. Even those trails were... I don't think really anything for this thing. I feel like I could jump it way bigger. Double, triple the size of the jumps and it should be fine. Um, we'll see long term how the parts hold up if we break anything. But honestly, a lot of the stuff is really beefy. Um, besides like this little pivot point, I don't know why they made this so small, especially um, down in here. Well, other than that, those are pretty much the only negatives I found. Uh, I think I'm gonna swap out the tires to something different like I talked about in the first video. And then I think it needs a little more power. I felt like it's almost, it's got enough torque, but the overall top speed I think isn't enough. Um, in the next video, once you'll see, let me pop this off and I'll show you. I guess I just have to cut this green wire and it increases the top speed to like 45 miles an hour. So I'm gonna try that um, and show you guys the before and after, but that's that. Aside from that, this thing is super fun. Honestly, the most fun I've had in a while. I need to get another one for somebody to ride with me. Riding those trails is definitely a good time. Pedaling on a mountain bike the whole time, to me, is not fun. It's a good workout, but I'd rather rip this thing around and do all the downhills and the uphills and not be totally winded by the time I'm done for the day. I guess that's where like a pedal assist mountain bike will come into play, why most of the guys are getting pedal assisted mountain bikes. But for me, I'd rather have this for the amount of money you're gonna spend. Say this is 4,000. A good pedal assist mountain bike is gonna be the same amount, probably four, five, six, seven thousand dollars, depending on what you get. As far as the modes, um, I don't know why anybody would ever use it in the normal mode. Had it in sport mode the whole time. And also, I want to mention after riding it for about, I'd say, an hour and a half, it's only at sixty percent battery. So I could have done double, triple that ride and still had enough battery to get back to the trucks. Another thing which would be nice is some better brakes. The rear brakes okay, the front brake. It works, but it could be a lot better. I'll expect a lot more content with this thing. Like I said, if you're new, subscribe. If you want to see more Suron videos and uh, like this video, if you're pumped for more e-bike content, I'm going to have dozens of videos over the next few weeks on this thing, on the Alta new e-bikes that should be hopefully coming in soon. Like I said, let me know what you want to see. But we're going to take the side-by-side -side out now, go rip this thing around. I haven't taken this thing out in a while and uh, go have some fun with this thing. So this thing warmed up and uh, go get this thing a little bit dirty. And the Red River's flowing. Take the dirt road home. <laughs> Dami got soaked, oh, dude. <laughs> that came right up and over. Can I stop the bike Man. one more time? Yeah, bring the bike through. I'll go down there. I'm already wet, too. Might as well get you going through it. <laughs> Almost sunk it the one time. Oh, man. So much for using these goggles. Oh my God. Honestly, it's a quick little wash though. But well, I'm already wet. I'm gonna try and drive down in there, but I'm afraid I'm gonna get stuck. I remember that. What? I remember that shit being like, it's like silt. Uh, yeah. We could probably go this way. <clears throat> Maybe. Oh, wait, that shit's bad too. You think so? Yeah. Or I'll just walk up it quick. You know, walk up it, see if we can follow the stream all the way. Not that way. <clears throat> but if I get I remember, it stuck like, in here, we're. Whew. 
Ooh. Yeah, if we get stuck in here, I don't know how I'm getting it out. It'd be fine over here. I don't know where we turn around. It goes up to my over my knee in there. <laughs> oh, it died! No, sucked in water. <laughs> oh man. Probably sucked in on the filter. Come through on the ground. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if I'm coming out. She might have to dry out for a minute. Yeah, the ground will make it for sure. Let's see it. Look, I'll show you how deep it is. I don't even know where my air filter is. It's up to my almost to my knee. Go for it. I think you got it. Where's my Worst case, we just push it out. Where's the filter on it? I don't know where the I air guess filter. you committed at this point. I would get on it. You got slicks. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I flip flop. No. The flop. The flop. The flop. <laughs> Look at the exhaust under the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Man, I am so I props to the ground. Props to the ground. Let me go rinse off though. I would go back through and do it again to be honest. That's, that's, a, that's a hill cut, dog. Yeah, that's a whole different story. Dude, that thing's slippery now. Might as well go swimming at this point. That first one was way better. It was. You came in hot on that one though. <laughs> Get the water out. But I guess we're going to another creek. That's uh, a little bit deeper than uh, the one we just went through. Oh. I love this thing. This thing is so much fun. I haven't used it in a while, but finally breaking this thing out. Oh. Should be playing some music right now. Where do I go? Oh, shoot. Hang on. I'm falling off the side in the creek. Thing might be uh oh rest in peace my goggles this thing might be over the wheels on this thing to be honest have you been through this one not that side oh just drops this off side, this, side's never been, no this has never been gone through i think this is a lot of silk. honestly if i came through started their four-wheel drive launch it full throttle right through here i think you might bog quite a bit when you hit the catnip you don't really have a good run on I hear Dom on Is the he stuck? back there. He might be. As long as there's no big rocks, I'll just go through it. Um, I don't think it looks like something I already went through it, though. That's what I'm saying. I don't wrapped know. with yeah, weeds. Right. Full throttle. Hopefully, don't get stuck in this thing. Maybe go right through the cattails or something. Try and line it up. I would but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens in uh, two seconds on the video. Aim between the cattails. Yeah. That, that was where the water went. So that's the lowest. The, deep, the lowest point, shallowest point. <clears throat> Regardless, I'm going to sink midway. I'm not going to get enough so, speed from there to there to so now, water uh, skip it. This could be the bad, fair, bad news here. What? If you get stuck. If I get stuck, we'll have to get Dom's Jeep back here and pull us out. Any vehicle could pull this out, no problem. It's, it's, we awful, just, it's awful stuff. We, need a, well, we don't even want to talk like that because I'm going to make it through. Hop, hop. So here's the water measurement right here. It looks like it's at about seven and a half. What? Seven feet. Seven feet? And it's really soft. The length of this, we're going to skip this, sink there, full throttle out. That's what's going to happen because I'm not letting oh, off as soon. I'm not letting off from when I start there I until would, I get out. I, I think you're going to, if you let off, you're thinking. If I get stuck, it's better content. But if I don't get stuck, it's still good content. Um, either way, you need to so. go full throttle. How are you getting out if you get stuck? That's the problem. We're going to have to I figure it out from there. We're not getting stuck. 
we'll Here, hold my goggles. I don't think we get stuck. We don't have Yeah, walk Yeah. Don't let off. You're moving, you're moving. Oh boy. Probably get out. It's just my I, belt's wet. I, I lost it. We're done. All right, let me get back from this thing. All right, let's get this thing going. Dude, I don't. Oh, underwater right now. Oh yeah, she's squishy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think we can try and bounce it first. We gotta try and bounce it. Yeah. You think? Yeah. Girls, no. Let's put it in low. <laughs> belt's just front, slipping. I'll try and reverse it. Look at all these clothes on. Steering check engine. Got a rope in here? No. You think I came prepared for this? No. I don't have ropes or anything. I'm just thinking about I want to successfully cross this. You know, I got to do this again at some point. Three times the run up. You might as well belly flop in here. I can I can I get over there? If you can get it out, it's yours. Oh. Rest in peace, honey. All right, well, update here. Had to run back to the house, got in the truck. Now we're driving it back here to uh, hopefully get this thing out because there's no other there's way, no other vehicle that could pull this thing out because it's all like silt. And uh, yeah, we'll see. You really think you're squeezing through there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you could have fit, but. Now go up the hill and then back up. Yeah, see if the trusty 150 can pull her out. If not, we gotta go get it. Oh, here goes nothing. Just going, just going. I'll hold the other end. Oh, get a little frog. You want me to hold the I already made it far enough in. Literally. Go through the hook and then grab the chain with the end of it. You know what I mean? No? Alright. Put it in four. Good? No problem. Probably should have put it in neutral, huh? Yeah. Dragged it the whole way. Forgot about that. I didn't even put it in neutral. It was just dragging it. It's all that muck down there. Whew. Man. I'm gonna have to pull the plug on the belt. Stinks. It's raining a little bit, but try and get the rest out. And I can drive it home. What you kind of drain? Yeah, there's a drain plug right here. Yep, there it is, full of water. Yeah, maybe a little bit was in there. It's blowing. Man. Probably let it air out for a second, and then, or it might just dry itself off as I drive it. I'm sure it's so wet. It's 
throw some codes. Should be fine. Clear this thing out. And that's a wrap for the day. I'm gonna get this thing all power washed up, cleaned up for the day, get it all shining again. But if you guys are new and you wanna see more videos with the Suron, more videos with the side by side, make sure you're subscribed. If you wanna see what's going down before the videos come out, you can follow my Instagram at Tyler Monaghan. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.